So I'm taking this uh, sound design course and I just worked on this piece to practice some of the concepts we're learning. Basically took a field recorder out and recorded some sounds and then started um, working them into a composition. So uh, one of the sounds was an airplane. This is the source sound. So what I did with that is I, I did a lot of things to it, but essentially it became the, the drone for the piece it turned into this. I mean, the primary things there, I think, are um, basically I pitch corrected it, so it was all one pitch, and then I added a chopper to it to give it that. Uh, the next thing was uh, I was hitting a, a stick out in the field. So that was this. That's the original sound. And what I did with that is um, I took it, added, um, basically put it on the, the grid rhythmically and then added some delay. to give it kind of a texture to it. The next thing, so those two things together sound like this. Okay. Next thing was I have a teapot and I just hit, hit the top of it to get that metallic sound. I did a couple things with that. I did a reverse of it. Added some um, reverb to that. That's one thing. And then I also did a kind of a rhythmic thing. Oh no, that's not it. This one. Okay, so I'll add in the rhythmic thing and the reverse. Okay, and the next thing was I have a big five gallon water jug. So I just hit that. <laughs> so that's the source sound. And then I did three things with this. I First of all, I, I kind of doubled it up, dropped the beat, uh, dropped the um, the um, pitch of it, um, added some sub bass. I think I may may have slowed it down too, but basically it, it sounds like this. You know, so much more substantial. And then I I did a reverse of that as well. Okay, so when um, all these things, so when the reverse comes together with the regular, sounds like that. Okay, and then I I also um, reversed it. With a rhythmic pattern. So all these three together. Sound like that. Um, and then uh, some final two things. I just had a top sound. I used that down here, like that, slowed it down, gave it some reverb, and then I s had a top spin, uh, that's not it, little metallic spin thing which I pitched down and reversed, 
and time stretch it to give it that sound. And then I sang something. And then I did pitched it down. Added some um, chopper effect to it. Okay, so basically um, then all these sound effects together uh, sound like this. And then I um, I had a instrument, some instruments that I added along with that. So if I just play everything. <laughs> <laughs> 